To begin the repair process for the Model 375 4 and 6 inch backflip preventers, first close the inlet and outlet shutoff valves. You will want to open the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks to release the pressure from the valve. Leave the test cocks open during check removal and reinstallation. Loosen and remove the two nuts and bolts on the groove coupling on the cover. Remove the coupling halves, gasket, and the cover. To remove the number one check valve, locate the two tabs of the plastic retainer at the top of the number one check. You will want to grasp one of the two tabs and push down to remove it from the groove. Then pull straight back and the retainer should spiral out of the groove. Remove the number one check assembly. Always service the checks one at a time to avoid mixing parts. Both checks can be repaired following the same procedure. You will want to remove the bolts from the seal retainer on the check, then remove the retainer. Remove the seal ring and inspect the face for cuts or embedded debris. For a temporary fix, you can flip the seal ring over to use the smooth side while waiting for new replacement parts. Inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. Inspect the O-ring around the edge of the seat for debris or damage. Replace any damaged parts. If you are installing a repair kit, replace the seal ring, seat O-ring, and bolt O-rings. Reassemble the check and tighten the retainer bolts evenly. Clean and inspect the O-ring sealing area in the body. Next, you will lubricate the seat O-ring. To remove the number two check valve, locate one of the two spring-loaded plate retainers around the face of the check. Pinch the sides of the spring together and rotate the plates out of the body groove, one at a time. Remove the second retainer in the same way. Remove the number two check by pulling straight towards the center of the valve. After servicing the number two check, install it in the body making sure it is completely seated. The groove for the seat retainer should be completely exposed. Close the number four test cock to hold the check in place. Insert the number two check retainers by placing one plate into the groove and then compressing spring to insert the second plate. Insert the second retainer in the same way. Install the number one check in the body and close the number two test cock to hold the check in place. Install the plastic retainer by inserting one end into the body groove and then sliding your hand around the face of the retainer, pushing it into the groove as you go. Place the groove coupling gasket over the valve opening. Lubricate the outside of the gasket. Replace cover and reassemble groove coupling. Make sure coupling is seated properly and the ends of the coupling halves touch. Close the number three test cock. Before servicing the relief valve, make sure to check the troubleshooting section of the instructions. The most common cause of discharge from the relief valve is debris in the number one check valve. Unscrew pressure sensing hose from relief valve cover fitting. Unscrew the bolts from the relief valve cover counterclockwise. The cover is spring-loaded, so leave two bolts opposite each other to remove last. Hold the cover tightly in place as you remove these last two bolts. Pull the cover straight away from the valve body. The relief valve cartridge will stay in the cover. Remove the spring. Inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. A damaged seat can be replaced if required by pulling the seat straight out of the body. Make sure to lubricate the o-ring before installing a new seat. Gently pull the cartridge from the relief valve cover. Inspect the seal ring for any cuts or embedded debris. You will want to disassemble the cartridge by unscrewing the seal ring retainer screw. Inspect the diaphragm closely for wear or holes. Inspect the O-ring on the upper plunger for any cuts or damage. Clean the components and replace any damaged parts. Next, you will want to carefully reassemble the cartridge and tighten the seal ring retainer screw. 
Lubricate the o-ring on the upper plunger. Place the spring around the seat in the body. Insert cartridge assembly into the spring. Place the cover onto cartridge assembly and push the cover towards the body. Make sure the cartridge centers into the seat guide ring and the bead of the diaphragm fits into the groove in the relief valve body. Align hose fitting on cover to the left of top center. Thread two screws into opposite holes by hand while holding the cover in place. Thread the remaining cover screws into place and tighten all screws evenly. Thread hose onto fitting and relief valve cover and tighten with wrench. Open your inlet valve slowly to pressurize the assembly. Inspect for any leaks. Open and then close test cocks to bleed air from the assembly. Open your outlet valve a small amount and wait for system to pressurize. Fully open the outlet valve once the system is pressurized. The valve should be tested by trained personnel to confirm that it is working properly.